all right guys so in today's video i am gonna review the very first 4.14 kernel and rom based on android 11 as you can see the kernel version is 4.14 predator stormbreaker and the android version is 11 and the rom is called Bianca project made by alandas it is a lineage os fork and is based on android 11 so yeah it is pretty stable and the 4.14 kernel is in its early stages so we cannot expect much and 100% working stops but yeah it is daily usable i have been using this rom for um, three days maybe or two days I, I don't know and it has been quite a good experience for me so yeah the it is as i said earlier it is pure lineage os you get some customizations in a, in a customization tab as you can see buttons power menu quick settings status bar and your usual los customizations and nothing much so what does 4.14 actually improves yeah so 4.14 is tend to improve the overall performance and it it is tend to i'm sorry for my cat anyways 4.14 is tend to uh, obviously increase your performance and better scheduling now what is scheduling it is io scheduler that tells the kernel it is uh, basically the commander uh, for easy standard easy understanding of your you you guys and it says the bandwidth to the kernel now how much bandwidth it has to use the your task it helps multi it helps greatly in multitasking and multi it is uh, really useful for multiple processors and quad processors so and the io cellular here over here is cfq so in in cellulars the cfq is the most stable one so we're getting that and the uh, kernel is obviously said governor is sedutil cpu governor is sedutil sedutil i mean it is a yes kernel 4.14 is yes so gaming won't be that good but it won't be bad after all after all and but i have played about talking talking about games i have played call of duty mobile and it it was set to medium graphics and medium frame rates from the start but it doesn't lag much but yeah it does slightly so if you are if you are a hardcore gamer then probably you should use low graphics and low frame rate that would be much better otherwise there's no big uh, performance drops or anything the camera works flawless and the one thing i have noticed from 4.4 to 4.14 is the process it takes to capture the photo like i have turned on the hdr plus now if i click a photo you know the process over here it is so quick and as you can see it just completed it was a hdr plus process and it complete completed within seconds so yeah that's a quite improve, good improvement and the rom is overall pretty smooth and talking about magisk you have to use the magisk cu modded by revengers dev so go ahead and use that i'll put a link to every stuff i have used in the description and let's now talk about the installation how do you install it so basically the installation is pretty simple let's take uh, let's for example you are you have gone into the recovery i'll put a video of the installation right after the review so let me tell you the things what you have to do so first of all you have to boot uh, your uh, phone into the recovery mode 4.14 based kernel the one you are using currently if you haven't installed this rom so you boot into that and then you have to flash android 11 android 10 for firmware latest global android 10 based firmware after that you have to flash rom and then and then g apps of your choice and after that you have to flash the recovery uh, especially made for 4.14 
so and then you have to reboot and format it and reboot and if you want to go back to 4.4 uh, roms you have to flash the rom g apps and then 4.4 uh, recovery and that would be it so if and yeah if you have if you guys have any queries just ping me in my uh, telegram group i'll put my link group uh, group link in the description and yeah everything is pretty normal usable video calling works re and oof my cats are bloody okay anyways and yeah everything literally works i don't know what else to say about benchmarking i haven't done benchmarking because after all it is sdm 660 Uh, and we cannot expect gaming like in snapdragon uh, 8 800 series so i have i do, do not even trust those like why do you need them after all it is a mid range hdm uh, 660 device and you are not going to get maximum frame rate maximum graphics so i don't know do they do they do the testers tests sorry and about f2fs yeah f2fs support is present and it does increase your sequential read read and write so if you want to use them do use them but i'm good with ext fat so i'm not going to use f2fs but if you want to you can it will have better app launches and multitasking processes but yeah 4.14 overall is pretty good and thank massive thanks to soham sen and sebastiano barresi for releasing the sources and soham sen the predator dev for making this uh, storm breaker in base and flashable for us so yeah that's pretty much it if you guys have any queries regarding this and if you have any uh, like problems and you do not know the solution just ping me and so the final call conclusion would be it is pretty stable for daily driver gaming etc and if you want to try it just go ahead and try it there's no big issues and yeah oh by the way, one thing is like it has it doesn't charge your phone to 100 it charges only to 98% but it has been fixed i have tested it myself it is fixed and will be released within a, in a day or so depends on the developer but yeah it is been fixed and it's not a big deal as well why do you need 100% also it is not good for your battery anyways so yeah everything is literally work and one thing i want to suggest is do not flash the nick g apps add ons if you flash then it would get messy and the clusters might get uh, messed up so i do not suggest using them and also i do not use suggest you to use unnecessary modules at the moment as it is a beta initial rom so keep it simple and use it simple that's it it's it is pretty stable so yeah i hope i have helped you guys in the way and sorry for my cats and yeah i hope to see you in the next video here is the installation video and i'll see you guys in the next video peace guys so to flash the very first 4.14 rom for our redmi note 7 you have to boot into recovery obviously then you have to go to your um, directory where you have those files then these files i have i will put everything everything every stuffs link in the description so grab them from there and then first thing you going to need is obviously the firmware you have to be in the a10 android 10 firmware latest global swipe to install when the installation is finished you're going to go and flash the bianca project official by alandas by al aln his username it is a los fork based on android 11 so you want to flash that okay, so the rom has been flashed and keep in mind that you have to flash the rom before the recovery you have to flash the rom in 4.4 recovery which is the official recovery of orange fox or twrp of your choice and then i have all, as you as you saw, saw i flashed the rom now i'm going to flash the g apps i'm using nick g apps you can use nick or bit
the GFs also flashed. Now the last thing you're gonna need is the Orange Fox R11 4.14 1 Beta Lavender. So flash that. And it will reboot to recovery in 5 seconds. So let it reboot. Recovery has been flashed and as you can see the data is decrypted so you we gonna go to encrypted sorry so you're gonna go to menu manage partitions data and select format data and type in yes and then we will just reboot now we'll be into the 4.14 rom very fast for our redmi note 7 this is the boot animation okay it is hella bright and my camera isn't really capable of showing that so it's a anime girl nothing extra massive thanks to Soham Sen the developer of predator who did the bring up of 4.14 and, and thanks to Sebastino Barezzi for releasing the 4.14 sources in the public all right so it booted up and let me show you the kernel version real quick so yeah there you go 4.14 predator storm breaker for our uh, lavender redmi note 7 so to go back you have to flash a 4.4 rom any rom and any rom based on 4.4 kernel and then after flashing that rom you have to flash the uh, official recovery and boom you will be uh, and then just reboot and you will be into 4.4 rom like forever like mm, yeah forever okay so that's it i'll catch you guys in the next video